Hi, this is Ed Brenniger, Circle of Impact Leadership. Today I'm in Vienna, Austria, attending the, the 10th anniversary Peter Drucker Global Forum. Peter Drucker was a great uh, writer, thinker, a leader in the world of management. He's called, often called the father of management. And he was an influential person in my life when in 1986, I discovered his book, Innovation and Entrepreneurship, and I realized that I was uh, not just a change agent, but also a person who is committed to uh, being a person of innovation and as well as an entrepreneur. When we talk about these ideas, we are talking about human beings who are working within organizational structures, all kinds of structures, whether if they're for-profit companies, non-profit companies, local governments, schools, media, politics, government, all these different types of organizational structures will have people working within them. And in each one of those places, the human dimension matters. The human dimension is what do people do in an organizational structure? Are they subordinate to that structure? Are they simply cogs in a machine? I think that has been the thought for most of the 20th century that people are hired to do work. They're assigned work to do and their job is to do that work. I think that is changing. The future, particularly as artificial intelligence and automation becomes more and more widespread, the importance of the human dimension grows even more exponentially. And by this, I mean that every person that works for your company needs to, be, needs to be a person who can be a person of impact. They have the capacity to solve problems. They have the capacity to communicate beyond the defined role that they have in their company. And they need to be innovators. They need to be looking for better ways to do the processes that lead to the products and the services that lead to the results that a company, an organization, a nonprofit, a community, or a society needs. So I want you to think about the human dimension as, as not just subordinate, but essential. Actually the core of what every business structure exists for. In my book, The Circle of Impact, I define leadership as beginning with personal initiative. And by personal initiative, I mean that people at whatever level of a company we're talking about are taking initiative to solve problems and to communicate and to innovate. These are people that are doing it. And if your structure, the structure of your company is not prepared to equip your people and support them in making those decisions, taking the initiative to do that, then you're behind the curve because as AI and, and automation become more and more prevalent, you're gonna need people who are talented in the capacity to be problem solvers in particular. So this is something we need to talk about more. This is why I'm here in Vienna this week. I'll, I'll have another video at the conclusion of the, of the conference tomorrow, but I wanted to bring this to you now because I think it's an important conversation. So if you wanna make a comment to me or to the conference itself, you can do so by doing hashtag PDGF18, or you can do hashtag Drucker Forum, or you can do hashtag Circle of Impact. Every, each one of those places will have comments being made about what is going on at this conference, and you can bring your voice to it, and I hope you will. So this is Ed Brenniger reporting from Vienna. I appreciate your watching. I'm a leader for leaders. I'm a leader for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.